How's it going guys? This is Nick at BarBen.com and it's that time again when I get to be a talking head on your computer screen talking about supplements. And today we're talking about one of the most common and beloved supplements in the entire world of sports nutrition and that is the pre-workout. Caffeine for a workout can have a tremendous difference not just in the amount of energy you have but also your focus, your endurance. And there's not just caffeine in these products, there's actually a wide variety of other ingredients and you've even got pre-workouts without caffeine in them at all because these other ingredients, which are not stimulants, can still improve your workout. It's a very, very interesting science and we're gonna get into all of it. We're gonna talk about the best pre-workout overall, the best for women, the best without caffeine, the strongest pre-workout, the one with the most caffeine and many other picks. So make absolutely certain you don't go anywhere. Now before I go on, I need to make it clear here for like legal reasons, I'm not a doctor. Nope. Uh, I am no medical professional myself. I am a dude who has tried and reviewed dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens, probably hundreds of pre-workouts at this point. But if you are considering making any changes to your supplement or nutrition regimen, make absolutely certain you go and see your doctor to get a professional opinion and make sure that nothing's gonna conflict with your own nutrition, your own lifestyle, medications you may be taking, and so on. Now you clicked on this video because you want to know what the best pre-workout is and while I've got a lot of other stuff to talk about, I respect your time, I'm going to let you know right now what our number one pick is and it is Huge Supplements Wrecked. It is a very, very legit pre-workout, not just because of all the caffeine it's got, but also the type of caffeine. It's got two different kinds so it's going to break down more slowly, give you more sustained energy. But all the other ingredients here are super legit as well. It's got a ton of ingredients for blood flow and pump like citrulline. It's got plenty of betaine and hydrous for power, beta alanine for endurance and a lot more. It's even got a bit of salt in there for hydration, which is a super underrated pre-workout ingredient. We're gonna get all into that. But all those words I just said, citrulline, beta alanine, betaine, you're probably wondering what they are and what are these very common pre-workout ingredients that aren't caffeine that I keep talking about. Well, you come to the right place. Let's talk about the most common, most researched back pre-workout ingredients you might wanna keep an eye out for and how much of them you should be taking. All right, let's just quickly cover caffeine as a common pre-workout ingredient because a lot of people are unaware of the actual effects of it and also the correct dosage. Caffeine, it's not just an eye opener that gets you out of bed and gets you moving in the morning. It also has very serious, very well-researched benefits for exercise in particular, like stuff like reaction time, working memory, perceptual memory, power output, aerobic output, all these sorts of things. They're very closely linked to caffeine. So it's not just like makes you feel a bit more energized. There are very concrete ways it can improve uh, a wide variety of athletic endeavors. Content wise, a 12 ounce Starbucks cold brew has about 155 milligrams of caffeine in them. The average pre-workout, 180 to 200 milligrams of caffeine. They are much, much stronger on this list. After that, we've got citrulline. It is an amino acid that's found in a lot of natural foods. Watermelon is one of them. Citrulline has links with blood flow, increased blood flow, and it's a precursor for nitric oxide. And in addition to a lot of interesting implications and interesting research performed on that for like uh, power output and endurance, like endurance in particular, that's also like good for blood pressure overall. Something to note about citrulline is that it's often underdosed. All the research on it that's shown like benefits and studies has a good five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 grams of citrulline. You really wanna make sure you're getting at least five grams if you're wanting to lean on the benefits of citrulline in a pre-workout. That's an important thing to look for. Beta alanine is also very, very common in pre-workouts. The dosage is 1.6 grams at a minimum, often up to 3.2 grams. Uh, what that is about is like cardio and endurance largely, like it increases time to exhaustion in a fair amount of research. In fact, there was one study that found, actually quite a few studies that found roughly like two 2.8% benefit for endurance athletes. And if you're like an athlete, like a high level athlete, like an almost 3% improvement is actually very, very significant. One thing to note about it is that it tends to produce what's called paresthesia, which is a tingling sensation on the skin. It's completely harmless, so just be aware of that. It's a bit of alanine. It's a temporary little bit of tingling sensation on the skin. Another one is betaine anhydrous, also called trimethylglycine. It's uh, most commonly found in beets, like known for being found in beets, also some leafy greens as well. With betaine, uh, that has a big emphasis on power. So normally doses of about two, three grams per day, often over the course of a day. That's been found to increase power output in a few studies. Uh, there's been studies on the back squat and the bench press specifically that has seen a it's kind of measurable increase in power output there. I'll also mention creatine here. Creatine is probably after protein powder, the most common sports supplement out there. The point with creatine is you take 
about five grams a day for four weeks or so, and that saturates the muscles, and that's gonna give you the benefits of creatine in the gym. Some studies have found like 12 to 20% increase in power output, it's very impressive. It might not be like 20% for you, but definitely like power output has a very, very strong link with creatine. It is one of the most widely researched sports supplements out there. So all these different components in pre-workouts, they affect workouts in different ways at different times. So that's why you tend to get a whole bunch of them all at once. The last one I'm gonna mention here is branch chain amino acids. These are their own category in sports supplementation. There's a whole lot you can say about uh, branch chain amino acids. They're not very common in pre-workouts because again, usually they're separate products, but sometimes you'll find them thrown in there because there's some evidence that if you aren't eating a particularly high protein diet, or if there's been like a long gap since your last meal, they might help with muscle retention and potentially help with like a focus and uh, keeping you from, from losing muscle during your workouts. I've also found myself that if it's been a long time since my last meal, taking bread chain amino acids, it can sort of help to keep the workout going. So, the best pre-workout overall is definitely Huge Supplements Rec. This is an astonishing product. And in fact, it's so good that we gave it three awards. We have the best pre-workout overall, the strongest pre-workout, and the best for pumps. These categories are all pretty self-explanatory. I just want to mention all the other ingredients here that led to us naming it the best pre-workout overall. Because like, yes, it's got a lot of caffeine. Yes, it has a lot of ingredients linked to pump as well. But they've also put in a bunch of other ingredients that you very rarely see in pre-workouts. So I've mentioned like citrulline, beta-alanine, beta-enanhydrous, all of those are in here. But in addition to that, you've got lion's mane mushroom. So that's like an adaptogen that has uh, pretty interesting links in some studies to uh, endurance and sports performance. There's also a lot of other interesting ingredients here like pink Himalayan salt. Sounds very weird, I know, but like sodium is a massively underrated and massively beneficial component to have before a workout. It's a really good ergogenic aid. Athletes like Stan Efferding and Steffi Cohen all swear by taking some salt before a workout. All the ingredients here are very, very interesting. They've gone above and beyond by getting the most research back, most popular ingredients like citrulline and betaine and putting a lot of other interesting ingredients with very interesting research behind them. So very, very impressed by the way Rect approaches their pre-workout. The strongest pre-workout as well is what we named this one. The reason for this is not just because it has 350 milligrams of caffeine, but also because it has two different types of caffeine in it. So 250 milligrams of it is like regular caffeine, which is caffeine anhydrous, but also there's 100 milligrams of di-caffeine malate. That is an interesting proprietary product also called Infinigy. That's like a patented name for it. And what that is, is caffeine that breaks down more slowly. So instead of getting 350 milligrams of caffeine immediately absorbing into your bloodstream, the idea is you have the 250, which is already quite a fair amount, and then another 100 that's gonna break down more slowly. So that's gonna be helpful for endurance workouts, longer term exercise, and also just generally for preventing a big spike and crash in energy levels. So that's a very interesting approach to the caffeination of this product. Then you've got the pumps. So a lot of people are very interested in getting pumps in their workouts, right? I mentioned citrulline earlier and I mentioned the effects on blood flow and performance. What that also means is because of the vasodilation, it means that there's just basically more blood getting to your muscles and more oxygen getting to your muscles as well. That has benefits for performance, but also potentially on hypertrophy as well. That's muscle gains. And this one here has eight grams of citrulline per serving. So that is a very impressive amount. And also uh, the beta alanine and beta enanhydrase, other ingredients here also have links to increased blood flow and increased pumps as well. But citrulline is the main one here. And with eight grams, it's definitely tops the category. So, Best pre-workout overall, strongest pre-workout, best for pumps, huge supplements wreck, really takes them all home and definitively and decisively so. So we're very comfortable standing behind that one and we think you can like that one too. Let's take a quick right turn. We're gonna talk about a different kind of pre-workout. One that, if you can believe it, doesn't have any caffeine at all. We're talking about Swolverine's Pre. So this one took home a fair number of awards here as well, but first we're gonna talk about the fact that it has no caffeine. So this is the best pre-workout without caffeine. For a lot of people, that's gonna be like a shocking thing. But as mentioned, all these other ingredients I've been talking about, none of these are stimulants, right? You can take them later at night, they're gonna give you a better workout, but they're not gonna keep you up. So there's a difference between having something that can improve your performance and something that's a stimulant. So what Swolverine has done here with their pre is give you all these other ingredients here. You've got the citrulline malate, the beta alanine, beta enanhydrous, all these things that we've mentioned, but it does not have any caffeine. One thing to note though is it has some Siberian ginseng here, one gram of it. Generally not considered a stimulant. 
It's more of an adaptogen that can help the body to manage stress and manage fatigue, as opposed to something that will keep you awake at night. Some people, they might have trouble sleeping with it, but uh, most people won't. Nonetheless, this is a completely caffeine-free pre-workout and a great pick for those who want something that's gonna help in the gym, but without really keeping them very wired. Another reason why this one differs a lot from the uh, huge supplements is that it's all natural, right? So by that I mean, I'm just saying that it doesn't have artificial flavors or sweeteners. So as opposed to artificial sweeteners like sucralose and uh, acid sulfate potassium, where Swolverine gets the flavoring from is from stevia leaf, the natural leaf, right? So there are two kinds of stevia leaf extract here. And there's also malic acid and citric acid. So totally natural flavoring totally natural sweeteners and no artificial coloring either. So this is a really good pick if you're trying to minimize the artificial stuff, which are plenty of people in the market are trying to do. The third category we gave Swolverine the edge in is the pre-workout for muscle gain. The calories and the workouts, those are of absolute peak importance for gaining muscle as opposed to what kind of pre-workout you use. However, what we really liked about the ingredients in Swolverines is that they all tend to lean themselves to better performance in workouts. And at the end of the day, the best pre-workout for muscle gain is the one that's going to help you to eke out more reps and get more work done. So there's plenty of beta alanine here, a good 3.2 grams, which is considered a very high dose. There's beta in anhydrous, so if your reps are a little bit lower, beta in can help you with that. There's also carnitine here. Carnitine is very, very popular uh, in pre-workouts for helping to limit muscle damage and increase muscle retention and muscular endurance as well. So there's also of stuff in this product that can, at the end of the day, get you more reps in, get you more workouts in, get you more endurance in, more strength endurance, and thereby helps to increase muscle gain relative to other pre-workouts. So, big fan of this one. Boy, I'm talking a lot, aren't I? I know this is a lot. There's a lot of research here. There are 50 million ingredients you feel like you need to be familiar with if you're going to find out what a good pre-workout is or not. There's two pieces of good news. Number one, I did all that research for you, so you don't have to do it all. But number two, there is a written version of this article, which I would encourage you to check out if you want to take this in at your own pace, if you want to check out these studies yourself or get like a closer look at the kind of research we're talking about, see all the ingredients broken down. So go to Google and do bar bend best pre-workouts. It'll come right up and then you can digest this real slow. But if you want to stick around, Let's digest quickly. What we really like about this next pick is that it's sort of a combination supplement. It lets you kind of hit two birds with one stone, combine a creatine supplement and a pre-workout supplement. So the best pre-workout with creatine is right here, Caged Muscles Pre-Caged Elite. Now, it's a little bit expensive. It's about three bucks a scoop. But like, listen, 10 grams of citrulline. As I've already mentioned, five grams is a perfectly acceptable dose. You get 10 grams of citrulline in a dose. You have 3.2 grams of beta alanine. Again, 1.6 grams is perfectly fine. You know what I mean? There's also a lot of caffeine here. There's 388 milligrams of caffeine, which is so much. You could have half of that, it'll work perfectly fine. You know what I mean? So is it expensive on a per serving basis? Yes, but it's so potently dose that you can half it and everything's gonna be fine. Uh, creatine though, five fat grams of creatine per serving. So this is a really handy, like double whammy sort of pre-workout. You're getting your creatine there and you're also getting all these other ingredients at very, very high doses. So whether you're trying to get a good pump on or you're going for a really long run, there's everything here that's going to make your workout work well. We also named this the best pre-workout for men. A reason why this is ideal for men or better suited for men Number one, it's unbelievably strong in the caffeine department. Pre-workouts for women tend to be lower in caffeine because women tend to weigh less than men, right? That's the main difference between these categories. So this is better suited for men just because it has so much more caffeine than the average pre-workout. But in addition to that, it's got some interesting ingredients like L-carnitine L-tartrate. Guys tend to like kind of produce or retain less of it as they age, L-carnitine L-tartrate. It's a pretty good addition here uh, for physique and for performance. And of course, you've also got all the other things like beta-ene and hydrous. Uh, you've also got taurine, two grams, which is a good amount. That's to help with focus when you're working out. There's also a good amount of sodium here, 12% of the recommended daily intake, which again, is really good for a pre-workout to have some sodium in there. So this is an unbelievably effective, unbelievably potent pre-workout. A little bit expensive, but the price is definitely justified given how much stuff they're cramming into every single scoop. Next up, we are talking about caged, pre-caged. There are two awards we wanted to give this one. The first one is the best tasting. These are the best tasting pre-workouts. This one here is grape, which I have had, I think about two whole tubs of in my lifetime, but there's also crisp apple, berry blast, pink lemonade, fruit punch, and cherry bomb and orange crush as well. They're all just so good. Pre-workouts, I think, are where companies have like the most room to play with flavors. And I think that Caged did the best job. They got a whole suite, really delicious flavors. And what's interesting, they're naturally flavored. They're not naturally sweetened. They have sucralose in there, which is just splendor. Uh, but the flavorings itself are natural, which a lot of people like. The other thing I wanted to mention for caged 
pre-caged is the best pre-workout for women as well. We're a big fan of this one. Female athletes and female consumers of these sorts of products tend to do more cardiovascular and endurance-based workouts. So to that end, we have, in addition to stuff that's great for cardio, like beta alanine, which you mentioned, there's also stuff in here that can increase focus. So what we're talking about here is taurine and tyrosine as well. There are two kinds of tyrosine in this. It's uh, vegan friendly, the branched chain amino acids. This has branched chain amino acids in it. The BCAAs in this particular product, they are vegan, they're fermented. So that's pretty cool as well. This has the Spectra Aurac blend here, right? Which has like everything from broccoli concentrate to black currant extract. So it's got the more vegan branched chain amino acids. It's got stuff for nice long cardio workouts. It's got stuff for focus. And it's got a bunch of powdered fruits and veggies in it. So those are all reasons, thoroughly gendered reasons, but reasons nonetheless that we've found that uh, women tend to gravitate a little bit more toward products like this. Next up, we're gonna talk about Transparent Labs, which is a really, really cool supplement company that we cover a lot here at Bar Bend. The reason being they're very transparent. They give you the precise amount of everything that they use. And on top of that, if you go to their website, go to like the product page for this product or any product, you can click on the ingredient, it'll tell you why it's in there and what studies led them to do so. So that's really cool. So we named Lean the best pre-workout for weight loss and for thermogenesis, which is a term that you hear used a lot in the fat burner supplement world. The reason I'm using it is that Lean has an emphasis, more of an emphasis on fat loss and weight loss than other pre-workouts. Now, the most important thing is, of course, you know, the calories that you eat throughout the day, as I mentioned from muscle gain earlier, it's important that you're just in a calorie deficit. However, an acetyl-L-carnitine is a really interesting addition here because of all the research on it as a means for promoting fat oxidation. Basically coax you to use more fat for energy. So that's why it is, uh, this has more of like a fat burning effect and a fat burning slant to it, to its formulations, as opposed to the other products here. So that's the reason why we named it the best pre-workout for weight loss and for thermogenesis. For one, it might help you work out for longer, which is also why we named it the best pre-workout for running. The running aspect here, again, two different types of caffeine helps to promote more endurance in that respect. You've also got some theobramine in here, which has some links to increase blood flow and endurance in that regard. You've also got black pepper extract to help this all absorb well. And you've also got beta alanine and you've got branched chain amino acids. So that's Transparent Labs Lean. It's good for a whole ton of reasons, very transparent company, and on top of that, totally naturally flavored and colored and sweetened, if that's important to you as well. Next up, we're gonna talk about a pre-workout that sounds pretty done with my accent. Nali Sports Nutrition, very cool name, and we're naming this one, we're giving it a couple of awards, but the best pre-workout for beginners, it keeps things pretty simple, and it keeps things pretty measured. So by that I mean, uh, the caffeine in here is just 180 milligrams. In addition to that, uh, besides the caffeine, the citrulline malate in a good five gram dose. You got beta alanine in two and a half grams. You got the caffeine, and you've also got some branched chain amino acids. The last ingredient is that there's some Asian ginseng root powder, and it is all natural. No artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, not too much caffeine, only well-researched ingredients, pretty short ingredients list. That's why Nali, we think, is the best pre-workout for beginners. We're also calling it the best eco-friendly pre-workout. So Nali purposely puts their stuff in these sort of metal paint tins because they're more likely to get recycled. And on top of that, they've also partnered with the Plastic Impact Alliance and Sustainable Packaging Movement to totally phase out the rest of their single-use packaging by 2025. And on top of that, uh, the BCAAs are vegan and uh, without getting too political about these things, you probably know that uh, plant-based products tend to have a lower carbon footprint than those that come from animals. This doesn't come from animals, so that's a nice little bonus there as well. One more thing I didn't mention yet, actually, is that this is certified by NSF for Sport. And NSF for Sport, that means they basically do testing to make sure there's no banned substances or anything like that in it. Especially if you're a competitive athlete, you definitely wanna make sure you're getting something that's been um, certified by a body like NSF. So that's a nice little bonus for Nali as well. Next up, since we're talking about vegan pre-workouts, we wanna talk about Transparent Labs Bulk. This is the best vegan pre-workout. This is also a totally natural product. It has uh, no artificial flavors or sweeteners or colors. It tastes really good as well. They got a nice spread of, uh, spread of flavoring in there. And what's interesting about Bulk as well is that uh, it's named Bulk because the idea is that it's really meant to help to facilitate muscle building workouts. It's not like it's got like a whole bunch of testosterone boosters in it or something like that. Rather, when you compare it to Lean, Bulk has, uh, it just has more of the ingredients that are associated with like ergogenic performance, right? So while Lean has six grams of citrulline, this has eight grams of citrulline. While Lean has two grams of beta alanine, this has four grams of beta alanine and so on. It really has like, 
kind of extra strong doses of the most standard and best research ingredients in pre-workouts uh, to really help you make the most out of it. Transparent Labs is, uh, again, very well known for their transparency and that brings a lot of peace of mind to people who absolutely want to make sure they don't consume any animal products or any products from certain origin. All right, so that does it for our list of the best pre-workouts. Uh, I wanted to close out this video answering a couple of common questions we get about pre-workouts because it's such a common category in fitness and in supplementation. One of the questions is when do I take it? Like it's called a pre-workout, but like when do I have to take this product? So when you're taking a pre-workout with caffeine, you wanna take it about a half hour before you work out. If there's no caffeine in it, pretty good chance you can just kind of take it anytime because your body will maintain those effects of extra endurance and power and stuff throughout the day. Lastly, I just want to talk about things to consider before you buy a pre-workout, right? Like just, just things to remember. The number one is there's usually plenty of caffeine in these. If you already drink coffee, you know, you're unlikely to be really dramatically negatively affected by these products. But for one, if you are sensitive to caffeine, don't have a caffeinated pre-workout, right? But the caffeine is something to think about. Another thing to consider or remember when getting pre-workouts, caffeine is really the only stimulant here uh, that you're gonna get in these. Everything else is not technically a stimulant. There are stimulant-like ingredients, but otherwise everything else isn't a stimulant. So if you're really worried about getting really, really wired and like freaked out by these, uh, honestly, so long as the caffeine is in line with what you wanna take, and that number can be zero if you wanna get a caffeine-free one, Otherwise, you, you, you should be pretty fine. Other thing to keep in mind, beta alanine is in just about all of these. It does almost always cause a tingling sensation on the skin. You need to be mindful that is fine. It's completely harmless. Don't freak out if that happens. And if you don't like that feeling, you wanna avoid something with beta alanine in it. Dosage is also an important one to consider. We mentioned in the written article of this as well, like what the normal dosages are. These all have good dosages. Um, but yeah, just remember that when you're buying your pre-workout. Lastly, your diet, your overall diet, and also your sleep and everything are gonna have a really big effect on your performance in the gym as well. That's it, man. That's our video. That's our video on the best pre-workouts. Uh, again, I just said about a billion different things. If you want to read it at your own pace and without my annoying accent, you can Google Barben best pre-workouts. Otherwise, stick around and I'll see you for the next video.